lives in a pineapple under the sea. Spongebob Squarepants! And in yellow and porous is he. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review the Spongebob episode, Bummer Vacation. Requested by Mustache Man, who does have a channel, I will leave a link to it in the description below. So, Bummer Vacation is about when Spongebob has to use his vacation days, or else Mr. Krabs is going to have to pay a fine. So, Spongebob uses his vacation days, but... After having his vacation for very short periods of time, Spongebob becomes very bored. He thinks about the Krusty Krab. He, that's all he thinks about on his vacation. And because he's so bored on the vacation days he needs to use, he tries to find a way to get back in the Krusty Krab and work there. But Mr. Krabs won't let Spongebob because he really needs to use his vacation days. In the meantime, Patrick is taking Spongebob's job while he is on vacation. And so it drives Spongebob nuts. So in my opinion, Bummer Vacation is a really enjoyable episode. I enjoyed the moments where Spongebob is trying to get back into the Krusty Krab, all the gimmicks. It's really funny. There was this moment where he disguises as the guy that delivers buns. <laughs> And then the real one comes. There's another one where he actually has a Krusty Krab play set. Where he has Kim and the other characters. And then seeing Patrick take over his job too. Of course, that's a lot of fun to watch. Knowing how stupid Patrick is. So it's a simple episode. It's one of those episodes that does have a simple idea. But it uses its creative purposes for it and I feel like that's what this episode does exactly so well. There are a lot of funny moments, the storyline is very well written, it's well paced in my opinion, it definitely entertains me throughout the 11 minute running time. My only flaws with this episode honestly is just that, you know, as the episode's progressing, I do feel like Spongebob does get... A little too crazy, a little bit nuts. That scene towards the end with him and Patrick's rock with his eyes and all that, just laughing like a freaking psycho. It's just all like, damn, man, I understand you want to work, but god damn, calm the fuck down. It's cool that he wants to work, but towards the end, I felt like it got a little too far fetched with his craziness. And then I know Spongebob wants to go back to work and all that and it was entertaining to see him try to figure out ways to get back to working at the Krusty Krab. But I do wish that he would just use his damn vacation days. It's all like just use your vacation days man. You know you could have gone out to the beach or something like that. It's just all like just do something that won't bore you. Do something that'll calm you. And I do feel like the ending was just a little bit rushed. But overall I had a lot of fun with Bummer Vacation. It gets a little too far fetched with Spongebob's craziness the more the episode progresses. But I'm still able to have a lot of fun with this episode. So I'm going to give Bummer Vacation a very solid 8 out of 10. Now I'm here to review Wigstruck, which is requested by Mustache Man. Link to the channel will be in the description below. So this episode is about when Ned from Ned and the Needlefish loses his wig. He can't find it. It flies away. So the wig happens to hit Spongebob's face and Spongebob really digs having the wig. But the wig is absolutely disgusting and big and it's distracting everyone. So Spongebob now has to decide if he's going to keep the disgusting wig or if he's just going to throw it away just to keep from everyone literally trying to get after him. I could not stand 
wig struck. It is one of the worst Spongebob episodes I've ever seen. Seriously, when I watched this episode, all my mind was thinking was grabbing a TV and throwing it out the window. In my mind, I wouldn't do reality, but that's what I'm thinking in my mind because this episode really frustrated the fuck out of me. My only positives with this episode is that one scene near the beginning with Patrick, you know, he attacks Spongebob, he thinks it's a cotton candy, and then that scene ends with him dumping mustard all over him which was random and then he says do you mind but it was hilarious that whole one scene near the beginning of the episode with Spongebob and Patrick it was pure hilarious too bad the rest of the episode wasn't and then there was this one scene in the movie theater where citizens chase Spongebob and Sandy out of the theater and then that one fish makes the line saying I told you that movie was terrible and yeah cool to see Sandy here but that's all for good in Wig struck. Now, the biggest flaw I have with wig struck is that everyone is a complete douchebag. Well, almost everyone. Sandy has been in SpongeBob's side, which is really nice. But, like the Bikini Bomb citizens, they're giving SpongeBob a lot of crap because he has the wig. And they actually want to go after him, and they're just giving him such a hard time. Yeah, his wig is disgusting and all that, but I mean, they don't have to be that harsh to Spongebob, and I literally just hated every one that was giving Spongebob such a fucking hard time. The storyline itself was very boring. There wasn't anything interesting in the storyline. Also, with Ned and the Needlefish. Ned and the Needlefish can't play because Ned doesn't have his wig. It's either Ned has his wig and they can play again, or he never finds the wig and they don't have a band anymore. Really? Just because of a stupid wig? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you motherfucking kidding me? Just because of a stupid wig? What the fuck? Seriously. That was the most stupidest reason for not having your band. Just what in the living barnacles of all fucks. Just wow. And then of course, just when poor Spongebob had to get rid of his wig, the next day, guess what happens at the end? Everyone in Bikini Bottom is wearing wigs that Spongebob wore that he had to get rid of or else everyone was literally gonna strangle Spongebob and go all psycho on him. Because you know why? Ned and the Needlefish are wearing the wigs that Spongebob is wearing. It's all like poor Spongebob and yet everyone's wearing it just because they're wearing it? It's just all like I couldn't stand the fishes, and of course Patrick had to wear the wig as well, including the one in his armpit, which was not funny. And then I just hated that big fish saying that he was cool before, but since he doesn't have the wig anymore, he's not cool anymore. It's all like, you're the one that got mad at Spongebob, and Spongebob even pointed out to the guy that that's the fish that got mad at him for having the wig. Everyone gets mad at Spongebob for having the wig, and then the next day, everyone accepts except for Spongebob, is wearing the wig. That was just, I just hated the episode. I couldn't stand it, and it was gross for Spongebob to wear the wig that Patrick had under his armpit. Overall, Wigstruck is one of the worst Spongebob episodes I've ever seen. It's one of the most frustrating episodes of Spongebob. The more I think about this episode, the more frustrated I am. Get. I couldn't stand watching it. It's not well written. It has one hilarious line. It has one hilarious scene with Patrick near the beginning. And it's good to see Sandy. But otherwise, Wigstruck could just go fuck itself. I'm going to give this episode a 2 out of 10. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.